Amazing new time zone and reality, everyone. My name is Vel here at Science Away. This is part three of my Makerspace makeover. Today we're assembling two cube shelves to hold my various robots, dinosaur figures, science kits, and other products. This will replace the two small shelves that could only hold one or two things depending on the size. We started assembling the shelves around 6 p.m., which is kind of late, but we were riding our excitement. We got both shelves from Lowe's on clearance. And no, this is not sponsored by Lowe's. I haven't built furniture before, so this was going to be fun. And then we ran into a problem on step four. Oh, uh, okay. I was wondering, you know, why are there only two short dowels left? <laughs> I must put the long ones in. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you put the short ones in? Yes. Apparently, it's supposed to be the long ones. Alright. I had accidentally placed the short dowels where the long dowels were supposed to go. We had already put glue in the holes, so we had to rush to get them out. And of course, the last one broke. My dad had the idea to drill a hole to get rid of the broken dowel, get a bolt with the same diameter, cut off the head, and use that as a makeshift dowel. Did you catch our mistake? The long dowels were supposed to be used, but I accidentally used the short ones. If you drill out the hole to get rid of the broken short dowel, why would you go through the trouble of the bolt when you hadn't used the long dowels like you were supposed to? So we removed the bolt and continued placing the long dowels. I really recommend reading through not just these instructions, but any instructions one time and then assembling along with the instructions after. This way you understand what needs to be done and you're not trying to guess or figure out how something is put together like I was. There were extra short dowels as well, so we didn't have problems with the one that broke. It took us two hours and 50 minutes to build the first shelf. Since you saw us build and struggle to build the first one, there's no need to watch us build the second one. The second one only took us one hour and 30 minutes to build. Story time! Remember how in the last episode I said I made a mistake? First off, I later remeasured the wall. It's 8 feet and 3 inches wide, not 8 feet and 8 inches wide. Second, the wall itself is 8 feet and 3 inches, but there is a door in that wall that is 2 feet and 11 inches wide. This means we only have 5 feet and 3 inches of actual wall space. The new shelving system would be 8 feet wide in total. I'm more of a functionality over style type of person. I was willing to give up our cool shelves plus filament rack so I'd have 18 squares to store and display my things instead of 16 squares. My mom said it would make an awesome recording background though and go with style this one time. So we did. We returned the two 3x3 cubes and got two 2x4 cube shelves. Once they were built, we had to decide whether to cover the light switch or put the shelf right next to it. For more filament storage, we decided to cover the light switch. Now it was time to measure where the racks would go. The racks had to hold my small and big filament. We measured how far the closet racks should be spaced vertically and horizontally. To make sure we were consistent, my dad created a jig. A jig is a type of custom-made tool or device used to control the location and or motion of parts or other tools. It can also be used for accuracy of repeatable actions. Also, the shelves came with backs you could use to cover some of the shelf holes. We staggered them and left the shelf holes where the light switch and outlet were. The jig worked great and installing the racks went smoothly. We put all the filament I had on the racks and we were so happy with how it turned out. Before I finished it completely, I vacuumed all the dust and wood shavings. I also covered some of the cracks in the wood with a black sharpie. One of the cracks appeared because of the dowel and bolt incident. Now it was finally time to arrange the filament and put all my dinosaur figures, robots, and other products in the cubes. Of course, halfway through, I cleared off everything to tilt the shelf and rack system forward to plug in my plasma ball with the help of my brother. Thanks, bro. <laughs> It was around 9 p.m. when everything was finally finished. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm also glad I did go for style over functionality on this. It looks amazing. Huge thanks to my dad for helping me put this together. Couldn't have done it without you. I hope you enjoyed the assembly of my cube shelves and the installation of my filament racks. This was a lot of fun and this concludes part three of my Makerspace makeover. I will see you all in part four. And trust me, that went a lot more smoothly. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.